Before the opening bell, U.S. indices jumping on Friday, led by shares in the energy, materials and pharmaceuticals, biotech and life sciences sectors. The U.S. unemployment rate steady at 5.1 percent for September. U.S. non-farm payrolls declining to 142,000, below the 201,000 estimate. And August non-farm payrolls revised lower to 136,000 from 173,000 previously reported. Advancers ahead of decliners, 89 percent of S&P 500 constituents trading higher Friday. Now, after the market closed for the week, Potash Corporation of Saskatchewan announcing it has withdrawn its proposal to negotiate a, a transaction with KNS. And ADT upgraded to equal weight from underweight, while Norfolk Southern was downgraded to underweight from equal weight, both at Barclays. And Freeport McMorrin downgraded to hold from buy at Deutsche Bank. On to the Asian markets continuing to rise today. The Nikkei up nearly 1.5%, while the Hang Seng is also up 1.62%. And South Korea's Kospi starting on the upside, 0.44%. European markets are upward and U.S. futures calling for a positive opening. Now, there are no major earnings expected to start off the new week, but on the economic data front, 9.45 in the morning, we have September U.S. composite and services PMI figures. And 10 o'clock in the morning, we have September ISM non-manufacturing. Regarding the trend on indices, Trading Central saying the S&P 500 sees the upside prevail. The 50 period moving average rising and it provides further support. A further upside is expected and the relative strength index is mixed with a bullish bias. Long positions above 1912 are favored with targets at 1958 and 1968 in extension. On to the Nasdaq seeing the upside prevail, preferring long positions above 4180. And the Dow Jones sees a continuation of the rebound, preferring long positions above 16,150.